Hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. If you're new to this channel, well, I welcome you in the warmest welcome that Africa can ever give. Welcome, welcome once again. And please, may you subscribe whilst you're at it. Hit the notification button so that every time I upload something on this channel, you get notified in your inbox. How cool is that? And all those who have been supporting this channel, those who are subscribed already, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate you coming to watch more of my videos. Thank you, thank you so much. So this is a requested video. It's African threading with extensions. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I attach the extensions to my hair. My hair is freshly washed. It is clean and I've just divided it into four sections because I'm only going to do four sections today. I'm preparing the thread so that I have it ready when I need to use it to wrap my hair so that I don't have to start cutting thread again when I've already started wrapping my hair. And now I'm making sure that my hair is as detangled as possible. So I'm going through with the brush to make sure that it's exactly that. And I'm going to use Eco Styler gel and I just apply a little bit because I don't want my ends coated with the gel. It is basically to slick those sections because my hair is quite frizzy and fuzzy and the hairstyle gets old too quickly. That is the main reason why I'm using Eco Styler gel. I prefer not to use any gel on my ends when I don't have to. Like in this case, I don't have to apply gel. I'm just hanging out there to make sure that the thread doesn't slip off my fingers when I start wrapping. And when I'm wrapping, I make sure that my wrapping is not too tight. So I can be able to put in the mali hair. I'm using XQ mali hair, you guys. I'm using three strands. That's all I need because I think that's not too thick or too thin for my hair. At first, I didn't think about uh, de-moisturizing my hair or adding more conditioner to my hair. But when I had already finished putting the mali hair in, that's when I was like, maybe I should put in a little bit more conditioner on that hair so that I can twist it up and then be able to cover it properly and make sure that this is actually a protective style, not just any other style. You know what I'm saying? Then I start the wrapping, like no more African threading. If you don't know how to do African threading, well, it's basically wrapping your hair with some thread. That's basically that. There is no rocket science to this thing. So after this, it's just basically wrapping. I just make sure that I leave some spaces when I'm doing the African threading. Can you see those bubbles in between on the section that I'm wrapping? That is to make sure that my hair is as flexible as possible. I keep on wrapping until I'm at the end and then I tie a knot at the end, only one knot and I just make the ends tidy using a scissors like just snipping off the extra hair there. Let me show you once more at the back. So yeah, can you see the amount of Eco Styler that I put? I don't put a lot you guys because I don't want too much of it to go on my ends so that I keep my ends gel free because you know what? As much as we may want to use gel, for some people gel actually dries out the hair. So for me, it is very important that I don't apply gel on my ends, especially when I don't have to, like in this case. So yeah, I make sure that the section is as loose as possible, apply some more leave-in conditioner to the ends and twist that section up so that I can wrap it into the hair extension and cover it all up so that it becomes a proper protective style to my hair to my ends especially and then yeah so now I crochet the hair extension which is XQ Mali hair onto the base of that section and then I will onto the base of that section and then I'm going to cover 
my hair up. <laughs> oh my goodness! Doing a voiceover is not for sisters, you guys. It's hectic. I didn't know this. Like, hey, you know what? I thought recording without without uh, speaking is much easier. Yeah, but you still do the work when you're doing a voiceover. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to this. I have to uh, get my game up when it comes to doing voiceovers. Well, it is hectic. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and then so now I'm just threading and threading and threading, or rather wrapping the yarn or wrapping the thread onto my hair and making sure that my hair is covered inside the extension so it's like a protective style <laughs> okay so i'm sure you can you get the gist of what i'm trying to do here like it's basically that I've done two sections already and I want to show you one more time. This is basically what I do. Whew. Tell me, do you prefer shorter videos or longer videos where I can be able to illustrate everything that I want to show you in the video? Or you prefer very short videos mm -hmm. with just a little bit of um, illustration especially if it's a tutorial and one section is enough for you to learn and then you can go over that section as many times as you want i don't know let me know in the comment section below so that i can do exactly what you prefer watching longer videos or shorter videos tell me what you think tell me what you want me to be doing So I'm just twisting that hair up you guys like I did before and then I am going to do the crocheting of those three strands you know my hair comes in strands so those three strands is what I'm just using per section and um, because I thought that would be more or less what my hair would do well it, it's a little bit bigger than what my hair will do but we yeah, are well it's it's not too bad <laughs> it's not too bad it's a, a good presentation of my hair and I like the way that my hair really like matches with my hair you know like I got some people fooled you guys some people actually thought it was my hair and I was like no way my hair is not this loud and so the girl was like why did you just say it's your hair for well, the one of the ladies that I work with she was like why don't you just say it's your hair like I, I wouldn't want to do a lot of explaining says lying is just dumb you know I, I don't i don't like lying whatever it the case may be it's just best to tell the truth even if it's something that doesn't harm anyone especially like this year it won't harm anyone me lying that it is my hair but in lying is just lying it means you can lie anytime so you don't you're not trusted that way so in this case i just said no it's not my hair it is actually an extension and i did record a video and i'm gonna show you it so this is it so now i'm adding some more hair gel to my hair so that i can slip those edges like down those edges need to be light girl they need to be light <laughs> I'm done. I'm now working on my um baby hairs. Yeah. Baby hairs for days. <laughs> this hair is not fun working with when you don't lay down, I tell you, because hey, if you've got like baby hair, it is hectic. It just makes you look untidy most of the time if you don't lay down. So it is actually good that we lay down. Sometimes I just lay down even with conditioner. I, my edges lay anyway, as long as I put a scarf on top. But yeah. So I'm just putting this cup and then I'll work on my makeup and then I'll be back in the jiffy. I'm back and this is how it all came out. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Uh, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is exactly how I intended on it coming out. Forgive me, the sections, the parts, the patterns are not that neat. I'm not so good at patting my own hair here, you guys. Like, I suck big time at patting my own hair. So the patting is not as smooth as I'd want it to be. I took my time. I tried my best, but this is all I got. So sometimes it's as good as it gets. Hey. So these are the two hairstyles that I've been doing most of. I had so much fun with this hair, you guys. Like wow <laughs> but this is what i did and i did a high bun as well not really high but yeah kind of high bun so that one was a low bun and the other one was a high bun with this here only four sections of amapondo who could have guessed yeah so <laughs> i had so much fun wearing this here like so so much fun and i liked it i'm gonna do it again definitely Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming by. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and make sure you give me a comment. Tell me what you think about this hairstyle, what you want me to do more of and thumbs up this video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.